Look how one of them's got like black feet, the other one's. Oh, it's got black feet. and he went to a zoo for a while. Um, so when he went to that zoo, he was a big rock star because there aren't any timber wolves in South America. So a lot of people would come from all walks of life to come and see Amarok. Now, it wasn't a great climate for him, so we ended up moving him. And on the first day he came to Colorado, it actually snowed. We were a little worried about it because he hadn't seen snow before. He loved it. He loved it so much. Uh, he actually was an all white wolf, even though he's all black. That's how much he loved the snow. But guys I have one yep in the whole pack which one is the alpha Kina you want any treats 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 he's like no I'm interested in the kid <laughs> so this is Kina and Makui uh, Kina is the black face standing up right in front of us, the male. Then Makui, or Makuti, I like to call her, she's my favorite, is next to him on the right side. Uh, but Kina actually helped raise our Arctic wolf boys, so Isa and Raksha. He taught them how to dig, he taught them how to howl, how to be wolves. And he did such a good job that they both grew up, they moved out, and they got girlfriends on him. 
So he was up here by himself, but then we got Makui at that time, and Makui paired nicely with Kenai. They're our newest couple, they got paired together in November. Uh, so they still have a little bit of honeymoon going on, <laughs> I like to say. Um, but these guys are a really good couple though. Uh, Makui in particular has less fur than our wolf, so she looks a little different if you guys see her stand up. And it's not because we don't feed her as much. Three. 